All right, today we are working on the 895 and we are gonna do a short video on adjusting the clutch because, I mean, if you adjust the clutch properly and do it frequently, once or twice, or once every year or two, then you'll get a lot more life out of it and it's fairly simple. So we're gonna get underneath there. I'll show you the plate to take off and I'll get someone to come help me in the cab. And we'll get this thing adjusted up and it'll be good for another couple years. On these things, this clutch adjustment will work on a ton of these different versatiles. It'll work on 875, 895, 936. There's really two types of clutches. You can get the self-adjusting clutch or you get the manual adjusting clutch, which this one has, but this will work on most versatiles with a standard transmission in a variety of years and models. I'm at the front of the tractor. We're gonna slide underneath here and get to the bell housing. That is the bell housing, and we are going to remove this plate right here off the bottom of the tractor. Put it right there. Now here is your clutch. So I'm going to get someone to go in the cab, and they're going to bump the engine until there'll be a, a bolt and a tab that comes around, and we want it to stop right in here. Man. Man, it's hard to get lined up again. Oh, it's like... After bumping the starter enough, you find that bolt on the clutch, and then you undo that and pull that tab out. Well, yeah, just feel the free play and get used to it so you can tell me if I'm going the right way or not. Pry this tab out. So now we're up in the cab and we're measuring the free play. I just put the tape on the ground and then you can see it's like eight and a quarter and it goes down to seven and three quarters. So we want to get it to an inch, inch and a half of free play. So now I will put a pry bar in here and adjust it off of those lugs there. And you gotta have someone in the cab putting in the clutch. So Mac, you wanna put the clutch in? Yeah. And clockwise is more free play and counterclockwise is less free play. So we're like eight and a quarter and now you push it down and it goes to six and three quarters so an inch and a half of free play that's perfect and now we will adjust the clutch brake. So quickly before we start working on the clutch brake I'm just gonna lock out the clutch. So you just put your tab Obviously, you put it back in and then you put your bolt through it. So if you look up in the bell housing, that is the clutch brake right there. And you want to have an eighth of a free play between the fork and this. And then you want five eighths distance between your uh, throw bearing and your clutch brake. What you want is for the clutch brake to engage one inch below the bottom of the clutch, like on the way down, and you adjust it all with this linkage on the outside which attaches to your throwout fork on the bell housing. So one inch below the end of travel is where you want the clutch brake to bring in, and you can feel you're on the clutch brake because it's, it gets spongy right at the bottom we engage with a quarter inch left to travel so i gotta tighten it up a bit underneath and you do it with that linkage i showed you so now i am tightening or adjusting the uh, clutch brake with the linkage here i am just snugging it up and taking a bit more play out of it so that uh, it engages a bit sooner on the clutch stroke while you're in here and down here and you have the linkage taken apart, I would definitely recommend putting new uh, 
plastic little bushings in the clutch fork uh, linkage here just so that you take some more slop out of the, the whole clutch pedal. So I adjusted the linkage underneath the cab there. Now I go down, now I'm on the clutch brake, and then I get another inch of uh, travel, and you can really feel the brake apply now, which uh, it's really nice to have a good working clutch brake. It makes shifting these things much, much easier. And there we go, we got the clutch adjusted and the clutch brake, and now the 895 is ready to go out for another seasonal work. And uh, see you in the next video.